who most looking forward to this season? Um, this season, I'm looking forward to just, you know, um, getting some wins, the program turning, turning the culture around. Um, these last few years, SEMO hasn't been that good. You know, there's been a lot of losing records. We're just trying to um, get some wins and, you know, prove everybody wrong that we belong in this conference and that we could compete with anybody. You obviously have a new a new uh, head coach. What do you uh, like most about him uh, so far? Um, the thing I like most about Coach Corn is it's not just, you know, strictly basketball. You know, we can, all the players, we can just come up to him and talk to him about anything outside of basketball. Um, he's somebody I feel like um, I can trust, you know, I'll be, we'll have a good relationship years throughout after my um, season here too. One more for me, and then we'll go into the uh, media people who have questions. Um, obviously, when the season was over last year, then the pandemic hit and things have been different up until uh, finally, you know, the season almost getting ready to start. W was there a hardest adjustment that you had to make to just to change uh, in that time period for you? Um, sort of, maybe just the transition of just being quarantined in the house, finding, having to find something to do. Um, but for me, it was more about just controlling what I can control. So I was still able to get up, you know, go work out. Um, I was able to get in the gym still, just do what I do and just be patient and see how things play out and basically stay prepared for school and this season coming up. Well, and I'll, then we follow up on that. How do you think your game has improved from last year? Um, the game has slowed up for me uh, a, a bit more. I work, I've been working on my shot. Like Coach said, my catch and shoot has been good. Um, being a leader vocally, that's the role I'm stepping into, being, being able to control the game and set my teammates up, get them in the right places, and you know, making the right decisions whenever the ball is in my hand. Also playing defense, playing both sides of the uh, floor, just being a dog, you know. All right, let's go to some questions. Uh, Tony, you're up first, and I'm sorry if I stole part of your question, but go ahead and ask what, uh, whatever you have. That's okay, because um, given like where the game is lately, has um, outside shooting become more of an emphasis for you as you improve yourself? I'm sorry, can you repeat that? I'm sorry, um, has um, outside shooting become more of an emphasis as you worked on improving your game? Oh, yes, for sure. One thing um, I've worked on this summer, even up to now is my outside shooting, getting more comfortable with, you know, taking those shots. And, you know, um, one of my, I've been working out with Coach McMahon a lot, one of the assistants here, and he just emphasized the, the three for me, you know, catch and shoot, taking those shots. So I feel like that's improved a lot. I mentioned uh, that you want to be more like a vocal leader in this team. Um, what did it say to you that you had some guys transfer after last year and you had some more guys going in trying to like mesh the team together? Can you repeat that, please? That's all right. <clears throat> you mentioned you want to be like a, a vocal leader. Yeah. What did it say to you that like a lot that some of your teammates want to leave CMO after, uh, last year? What did the coach say to me? What did, what did that mean to you? Oh, like, I'm sorry. Um, it means a lot, honestly. It just means that he sees it in, he sees it in me, or all the coaches see it in me. They see that I can be a leader, I am a leader, and they trust in me to to lead the team to what we what we're trying to do, which is win and you know, turn turn things around here at Simo. Uh, how how has it been a challenge to get that type of buy in from like from your upper, from upperclassmen, from guys who are like who just got here who are seniors who have a lot of experience? Um, I wouldn't say it's been challenging because I go out there and I play my heart out at practice when we're working out. I'm not doing, I'm not asking them to do anything that I'm not doing. So they see, they see that I can lead them. They, they see the work I put in. So they, they believe in me too. And I appreciate all my teammates for that. All right, thank you. Let's go to uh, Harry, your questions.
There, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I, I forgot to unmute. I just went rambling on and said very important things. Um, hey, so the difference between having the ball in your hands and you were talking about improving your catch and shoot, do you see yourself more as that lead guard, that point guard versus the other guard, or does it matter to you? You kind of broke up a little bit. So I'm just asking about the difference between playing the point and playing the other guard position. Do you have a preference? Um, I'm just a basketball player. You know, I, when the ball's in my hands, I'm going to make the right play. If it's not in my hands, I'm going to make the right play. That's how I look at it. And, and yeah, the, sorry, my fault. That, that's right. And then the difference, you mentioned the, uh, uh, what you like about Coach Corn. Is the system any different? Like how different is your guys' system compared to what you had under Coach Ray? Um, with Coach Ray, I felt like it was a little more controlling and, you know, more looking over our shoulders, you know, make if we make the wrong play or something like that. There's a lot of tension in between that. But with Coach Corn, I feel like he trusts us to make the, you know, right plays and he's more calm and understanding. So I feel like we have a little bit more freedom and as long as we're out there doing the right thing, making the right plays, Coach Corn is going to be, he's going to keep us chill and let us, let us do what we do. So, and, yeah. and then how excited are you to have uh, Harris back? I know people thought a lot of him going into last year and then you lost him early. How valuable will it be to have him back sharing the backcourt with you? Um, it's going to be great. Chris is a great player. He's a great teammate. It's just, it's, it's exciting to have him back. Um, he can shoot the ball. My coach said phenomenal. Um, he pushes me. I push. I push him. We we go at it in practice when we're not on the same team. So it's gonna be. He's gonna be a great, a great help. Appreciate it. Stay safe. Thank you.